Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. A big old shout out and welcome to those of you that are new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining the family. You're, you're so welcome here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you that are returning, what is up, squad? So welcome to your readings for November 2019. A big shout out goes out to those Scorpios. Yeah, very happy birthday to the Scorpios. And also a very happy birthday to the November Sagittarians, yes? Can you guys believe that we are almost done with 2019? Like, this is a little bit crazy. We are getting into 2020 soon. That is super exciting. I hope you guys have had a really great year so far, but we're not quite there yet. So. These are your messages for the month of November. Please keep in mind that these readings are general. Yes, these messages are general. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information, including my email address and the readings that I offer, uh, their prices and a description of those readings are found in the description box below. Yes. For those of you that are new to my channel, what I will be doing in this monthly reading is what I call the freestyle or general freestyle reading. Yeah. If you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you start with that one as that is really quite a one size fits all type of reading. We could really get you some really awesome information, uh, very clarity into a look on what's going on, whatever question or situation you are interested in gaining greater clarity on. Yeah. Also, if you are new to the channel, please understand that number one, I am not a fortune teller. Okay. So what I'm doing here, what my goal is to give you guys is to get a look into the energy surrounding you right now and to give you guys a clearer understanding of what those energies are so that you can make a, a decision that is best for yourself moving forward in your life. Yes. Again, please keep in mind that these readings are general and I'm going to, for the most part, I'm going to be talking to the uh, sun sign or star sign. I should say star sign because it's not just your sun sign. This is sun, moon, rising and Venus, but I'm going to be talking to the sign that's in question, mostly looking at it from their point of view. So if you're a cross watcher, keep that in mind. But also if I'm speaking to this, and you're uh, speaking to this point from the point of view that you're the, the sign that you're looking at because it's the sign that is in your chart, but it's not resonating as you're the person that should be spoken to here. Maybe you're the person on the other side of the equation, then please take it as it resonates. Yes. Okay. Um, also keep in mind that just because these are monthly readings, like they're dated for the month of November, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for the month of November of 2019. All the readings on my, on my channel are meant to be timeless. Also keep in mind that this is general. All right. We're, so we're talking about anything that spirit wants to bring forward to you or wants to bring to your attention. This is not love career or, or, or sp specific like that in any sort of way. Although career may come up or career may resonate for you or love may come up and that may resonate for you too. Okay. But this is just an over open-ended overall look at the energies in your life. Yeah. I would absolutely love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. I am on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. And I do like to go live just about every once in a week to do a, uh, a collective check-in energy check-in for the Insta fam. So if you're not following me there, please, I highly recommend that you do so. Let's connect on social media. I'm also on Facebook, um, uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations. Now here's the thing about it. First of all, all, both of those links are in the description box below, but um, if you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you just email me or at the very least you can message me on Instagram. But even if you do that, I'll just be directing you to email. Uh, Facebook is not the best option to connect with me, to send a message to me or something like that, or even to try and book a reading mainly because it's not always reliable in notification, uh, as to when I get messages on Facebook. Um, and I don't always remember to check it all that frequently. So you run the risk of either completely me, completely missing your message or getting back to you at a really later, t really late time. So if you would like to, please, if you can go ahead and give me a like on Facebook and all that and connect with me there. But if you would like to get a reading from me, or if you would like to contact me in some way, email or at the very least, very least Instagram is your best way of doing that. Yes. Um, so for the readings for this month, I'm keeping with my normal and I'm using the golden universal tarot for our tarot spread and then keeping with the fall atmosphere, the fall feel, 
I'm going to be pulling Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck. I love this deck and it's so awesome. And it's been really, really spot on for this month. It was really spot on for last month as well. I'm really super excited for you guys to see these readings because I feel like overall they're really, really great messages, okay? So with that said, let's get to it. Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for November 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's just get into your pre-shuffle energies here. You have in your overall energy, the Ace of Wands. So it seems that uh, someone, someone is inspired towards moving in a new direction. And it's creating some sort of conflict. Now, <clears throat> I do feel like I do feel like this conflict might be internal right now. But it's going to lead to some sort of external conflict if it hasn't already started. You have the Five of Wands with the Two of Pentacles. What I feel like here is someone is aware of what of some sort of conflict that, that that's about to be created with this Ace of Wands energy or this, this new creative direction that someone wants to move in, maybe even a new spiritual direction, something that really speaks to their soul on a very deep level, very authentic level, something like that. But in order to keep the peace, someone may not be talking about it, or I feel like you might be trying to keep some sort of balance here, or if this is internal conflict, I feel like on the external, you're just trying to find a find a balance here so that you, you don't completely, <laughs> completely lose it. But then you have the Queen of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Uh, so something's about to be cut out. But I feel like there's about to be a communica some sort of communication or a conversation that's going to happen in which someone is speaking maybe to their friend circle, maybe to their family circle, um, society as a whole. Uh, I feel like there's some sort of conversation that's coming in terms of your external circumstances, people that you're associated with, whatnot, whatever. Again, this could be friends or family, whatever. But you're going to be communicating how you're cutting something out or you're leaving something behind. And it's not really a situation in which you're looking for any sort of input or whether you're looking for any sort of validation or advice. It's kind of, I just kind of feel like you're about to like speak some sort of truth and that's just about it. Like th this is not like, basically I'm getting an energy of this is not up for discussion. This is, I'm just letting you know where it is I'm going right now, what it is I'm moving towards, what it is I, I've, I'm inspired to do. However, with that said, there is an energy of desiring to maintain some, preserve some sort of peace, preserve some sort of balance. So it could be that you Pisces have come to a new understanding of yourself or you are inspired to move in a new direction. And it's not like you're really trying to uproot everything and completely start over. You may want to be trying to find some sort of balance in terms of the situation or the circle that has already been established that may be successful, that may not be successful. Who knows? I mean, it depends on your situation, your specific circumstances. It might be that whatever new creative direction that you're moving in is not sustainable in this current, these current cir circumstances, these current surroundings, wherever you may, you may find yourself, but that doesn't mean that you may not try. And I don't see anything wrong with that. But whatever it is that you've come to an understanding of or whatever it is that you are desiring to move forward towards, it's really not up for debate or discussion. <laughs> and I'm getting that with this Queen of Swords energy here, okay? Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. And let's get into the rest of your reading here, Pisces. The one thing I do want to say in terms of this, Pisces, keep in mind that this may, maybe this isn't you. This could be someone else that you're associated with, okay? Keep in mind that this is a general reading. The energies can go vice versa. Um, I know I did say that in the intro, but I, for some reason, I'm feeling like I need to say that to you. Judgment just flipped over. All right, there's, wow. Wowie, wow, wow, Pisces. Okay, and I'm saying that because I want to show you what's on the other side of the deck. But judgment just flipped over, all right? So there is an awakening happening. There is awakening that has happened. There is a higher calling that someone is experiencing, that someone is listening to and looking to follow through with. On the other side of the deck is none other than the fool, all right? So embarking on a brand new journey. 
absolutely 100% for you Pisces okay all right let's see what else we can get here for you for the month of November for you Pisces let me give this one a shuffle and then we'll get started okay here we go hi spirit Please make me a clear channel for all Pisceans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of November 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're giving this five shuffles. Let's see what we've got for you here. From a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. That's one. This is two from a Pisces. Oof. Okay, three. For my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019, four, and five. Alrighty, kids, here we go. Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Pisces. We have the Two of Wands. Here you go. Um, and I'm hearing the choice has been made. The decision has been made. See, so you just went from the Ace of Wands now to the to the Two of Wands. So, okay, maybe the choice hasn't... Okay. So a choice has been made in terms of a direction you want to move in. What I'm getting from this Two of Wands is how do we execute that? Okay, underneath the two of wands, whoa, you've got judgment yet again. Someone is definitely waking up. Someone is definitely answering a higher calling here. Beautiful. Underneath the judgment, you have, oh, you have temperance. And finally, whoa, that was unexpected. Three of swords. I'm getting for someone specifically, maybe this is for a group of you, or maybe this is just an element of this awakening that you're going through, but it's absolutely indicative of, or it's um, influenced, I'm sorry, not indicative, but it's influenced by heartbreak in the past. This feels like an awakening associated with maybe a twin flame journey, um, a twin flame catalyst. Um, doesn't have to be that though. That's pretty specific for, it's not for everybody. If you don't resonate with that, then don't worry about that. Um, but this could be a situation in which you have come to terms with some, a lot of heartbreak in the past that just kept piling up and piling up and piling, piling up until finally you reached your threshold and now you're really ready to change the dynamic here. Oh yeah. That's definitely what this feels like here. Now, temperance. Temperance is a card of balance. It's also a card of patience. Um, but it really feels like whatever heartbreak or pain that you've been experiencing that has led you up to this point, it's helping you get into some sort of greater sense of balance, which is then an integration also, which is then allowing you to answer this wake up call that's coming through to you for, from the universe. Okay. Excellent. Let's go forward. Let's move forward here, Pisces. Getting into the first half, second half of your reading here. You can look at this as first half, second half of your month. Take it as it resonates, yeah? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading, Pisces, you have, damn, the Nine of Wands. That's so very interesting because I just did the Aquarius reading and they got the same card in the same exact position. And let me tell you, I thoroughly shuffled the cards in between your readings here. But there you go. You have the Nine of Wands. So you are going to have to persevere for sure. But Pisces, given what it is, whatever it is you've been through with all this Three of Swords energy from the past, right? This perseverance that you're being called to work on, move through, is really nothing new. You've been, oh, well, maybe this is a realization that you've been persevering forever, it feels like, for the longest time. So 
now that you've reached some sort of creative direction, now a new direction to move in, now that you've reached some sort of sense of enlightenment or greater sense of integration within yourself, persevering in this light really shouldn't be that hard. And I think you're starting to realize that. That's beautiful. The Nine of Wands is coupled with, oh, the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Honestly, Pisces, this Seven of Swords feels like the de de uh, uh, deception of the past. The depression from the past is what I wanted to say, what I was also hearing. But the Seven of Swords represents deception, lying, cheating, backstabbing, stealing. Okay, so also what I'm picking up on here is you're actually starting to become aware of deception from the past. Maybe how you've been deceiving yourself, maybe how others may have been deceiving you. You're coming to terms with that. You're starting to see it clearly and thus you're, you're going to have to persevere here. But again, it's, it's, it's not anything that you are incapable of. And actually, I do kind of feel like Pisces, you're starting to recognize how there may have there may have been or may still be some people around you that are very, very narcissistic and or deceptive. And you're having to come to terms with that. And again, you're having to persevere through that, too. But don't worry, it's all part of the process here. You're absolutely someone here is definitely going through an awakening. And often when we go through these awakenings, we start to recognize this, the, the deception that has been around surrounding us this whole time. Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, you've got the Empress. That is beautiful. Abundance, unconditional love, nurturance, caring. You could be going through a divine feminine awakening, awakening within yourself. But also this is a, um, a reminder of the abundance that surrounds you. So regardless of what you're coming to terms with or starting to recognize or realize around you, please understand that the universe always has your back and you will never be without as long as you stay connected to the universe. You will never be without. Okay? The Empress is coupled with the Six of Swords. There you go. Moving forward, uh, putting the past behind you, moving from a space of condition lo conditioned love and conditionality into a space of unconditional. You're actively entering into the chambers of the Empress, which is beautiful. The chambers of the Empress represent unconditional love, nurturance, caring, abundance, birth. Beautiful energies. Beautiful, beautiful energies. Especially if you're coming from a place that was extremely deceptive, right? Excellent. Excellent. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, you have, oh, the sun. Yeah, this is a challenge because right now you might be going through a dark night of the soul. We don't have the moon here, which would be indicative of that. But in reading through these energies and seeing how much of an awakening someone is going through here, you really might be going through the dark night of the soul right now. So your challenge is to believe that there is light at the end of this tunnel. Ultimately, everything that is happening right now in your life is serving your highest good, okay? Absolutely 100%. Also, the challenge here is illumination. And it's interesting because what I've been feeling here is very much a, an ace of swords energy, which is funny because that came out for Aquarius. So you might be an Aquarius Pisces cusper. You might have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. You might be dealing with an Aquarius whatnot, whatever. Or you might be a, uh, an Aquarius that's cross-watching for a Pisces. I don't know, whatnot, whatever. But... The sun also represents illumination, and that's what the Ace of Swords can represent as well. So your challenge here might really be coming to terms with the things that are being illuminated for you right now. Mm. Again, this is all for your highest good. The sun is coupled with the Three of Cups. Oh boy. So yeah, some of this might be illumination. Again, you have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups came out in your pre-shuffle energy, but some of you really may be coming to terms with the illumination of some of the narcissistic people that really have may have been around you this whole time, Pisces. Hate to break it to you, boo, but 
Yeah, there's some of that going on, isn't there? Ooh, well. Hey, better late than never. You had to come through, you had to come to terms with it at some point here, right? Ain't no time like the present. Or as they said in Rent, ain't no day, no day but today, right? No day but today. Okay, anyway, moving forward, closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, you have the Knight of Swords. Well, there you go. There's that communication, clear and to the point. Now, this might get a little aggressive. You might, this might end turned up, in, this might turn into some arguments here. I highly recommend that you stay on the defensive and do not go on the offensive. I don't care what these people have done to you. I don't care what they may do to you now or try to do to you now, that now that you seem to be asserting some sort of independence or new awareness. Do not run around chopping people's heads off, especially with that Queen of Swords energy that came out in the beginning. This, I mean, someone has something to say. They're very clear, direct, to the point. And obviously, this is not up for debate. That's fine, but you don't have to go out trying, purposely trying to harm people or trying to get revenge, okay? Knight of Swords is coupled with the Ace of, the, not the Ace, I'm sorry, but the the Page of Pentacles. But this may as well be the Ace of Pentacles. It's not, it's, it's, a, it's a court card, it's a person. So this is indicative of you starting on a new journey, starting a new level, a new level of commitment, a new life for yourself. You may even be in an energy of looking to learn new things. Okay, that's beautiful. What I really see here, uh, not Aquarius, Pisces, excuse me. What I really see here is someone asserting themselves, someone communi communicating clearly the new level or the new journey they're embarking on. Because remember that fool came out during the pre-shuffle, right? With, what was it? Was it with judgment? Anyway, that's what I'm seeing here for this, okay? All right, second set of, uh, uh, the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, Pisces, you have the Nine of Cups, satisfaction. There may be some energies of trying to drown your sorrows. I did pick up on that a little bit, and especially for a Pisces, if you're really deep in your emotions, you might turn to substance abuse. Be careful, okay? Be careful how much you drink. Um, I really would highly recommend that you stay away from any hard drugs or anything like that. Really, Pisces, this is not the time to drown out your emotions, to drown out your feelings, no matter how hard they may be. And yes, I know they may be pretty difficult to deal with right now. Your first set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading, Pisces, was in fact the Nine of Wands with the Seven of Swords, okay? So there are some things that you're gonna have, probably have a hard time coming to terms with, all right? If you wanna have a drink or two, okay. Please try not to overdo it. Again, I'm I, also, like, keep in mind, I, please don't tell me, don't allow me to tell you what to do, but, for your own safety, for your own well-being, and for the sake of this awakening process that you're going through right now, it is very important that you stay as clear and sober as possible. Okay? Nine of Cups is coupled with, yeah, the Seven of Cups. There is a lot that you're going to have to come to terms with right now, Pisces. And that's okay. It's literally just part of the process. And I just picked up on some of you are probably going to be going through this phase of like, almost destroying yourself saying, how the hell did I get here? Don't do that, Pisces, that's not necessary. Whatever it is that you've been through, whatever it is you're working on coming to terms with right now, it's okay, it's all necessary. It was all a necessary part of the process of your enlightenment, of your awakening, okay? Hmm. Now this also can represent, with the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Cups, of you coming to terms with a, a lot of different stuff, illusions that are surrounding you, and finding satisfaction, finally. Yes, and I say finally specifically. You really are, are, are heading towards some sort of satisfaction in terms of things that may have been confusing you for a very long time, okay? For shoresies. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Pisces, you have, well, there's the moon. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, the moon is indicative of your energy in the tarot. The moon represents Pisces. 
In astrology, the moon represents cancer because cancer is ruled by the moon. But here's that dark night of the soul I was talking about, Pisces, right? You have the sun and the moon here, but especially in terms of where we are talking right now, where you could be working on drowning your sorrows because your pain is just too much. Well, this is why. The moon is indicative of a dark night of the soul in some cases, and I definitely feel that here for you. But again, I'm going to say this again, and I'm going to keep saying it. This is all a necessary part of the process, Pisces. Reaching rock bottom is definitely a good thing, no matter how it may feel and no matter how it may look on the external, especially no matter how what people might say to you or about you in this dark night of the soul energy. This is absolutely necessary for you, Pisces, so that you can start to rebuild. Okay? All right. The moon is coupled with the chariot. The chariot. Again, this is more Cancerian energy. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancer. Maybe you have Cancer, cancer energy in your chart. But also, th this dark night of the soul is necessary for you to get to regain your enlightenment. Or, ooh, ooh, to gain your enlightenment. Yes. But also, what I want to say is to regain your emotional alignment so that you can move forward. Because the chariot represents being emotionally balanced or in, in alignment with your emotions in order to, to move forward towards what it is that you want, okay? Uh, um, your emotions are your compass, right? And also, this might seem hidden to you, but everything that you're going through right now is facilitating this alignment here for you, Pisces, okay? So just keep that in mind. As you're moving through this dark night of the soul energy or whatnot, whatever, or at least just this challenging time, keep that in mind. This is all part of the process of your healing and your ascension is what Spirit is saying, okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Pisces, justice. And what I'm hearing is your challenge is coming to terms with this justice, coming to terms with the balance of your life, with, with things being brought into balance in your life. And this kind of can seem like a, a tower moment. I'm almost feeling like this is a little bit of a tower moment here because I feel like some of the elements of this balancing that's happening for you is really kind of out of your control. This is more up to, left up to the universe. Okay, you are making some moves, of, of course, but also the I feel like the universe is kind of driving this ship for you but it's doing that so that it can help bring you what it is that you've asked for it can help bring you what it is you truly desire in your life okay some of this some of this balance is out of your control some of this justice is out of your control and that's why it's a little hard for you to deal with right now that's why it's challenging but again it's a necessary part of the process justice is coupled with the queen of wands that's interesting but literally, oh my God, this is literally what I just said. Why? Because the Queen of Wands, in my opinion, as a reader, is a, a physical embodiment of the law of attraction at work, right? So the Queen of Wands is an energy or an individual who is very charismatic, very, very beautiful, social, desirable. But she's also very much an, an individual that is receptive right feminine energies represent receptivity and as the queen of wands i see it as someone who knows exactly what's they, what they want and gets in alignment with it and allows it to come forward for them so what i was saying before about some of this justice that is being that is being served in your life is in fact out of your control because you are getting into greater alignment with that which it is you truly desire to have experience manifest create build in your life and thus the universe is making some cuts to clear away what it is no longer serving you or to clear away what it is that is what is getting in the way of you receiving that which you desire okay and for some of you, that is, in fact, challenging because you're saying it's almost like you're finding yourself saying to yourself, oh, my God, I have to cut out X, Y and Z just so that I can get what I want. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. But in fact, you are. Especially if you find it falling away from you. Like, I'm really, I'm really surprised that we don't have the tower here. We might get the tower in the last two cards, but the chances of that happening are pretty slim. Um, but I guess it doesn't necessarily need to come out because I'm already picking up on it. Maybe you've already gone through a tower moment. 
that makes sense. And a tower moment in this case is the destruction of something that, uh, again, no longer serves you, um, tearing it down. Either you do this yourself or the universe comes in and does this for you. And thus, ultimately, that leaves space for what it is, the new that's coming forward towards you, what it is you truly desire. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome here, Pisces, in the second half of your reading, you have, oh, sh holy shit. Can you guess what, what card just came out? Can you guess? Take a wild guess. Uh-huh. It's the tower. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God. Oh my, uh, yo, my mind is blown a little bit right now. Like, damn. Damn, Pisces. <laughs> the tower is coupled with Oh my God, the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a card of self-mastery, of working on yourself, of building a better version of yourself, of, oh my God, of teamwork. This is literally you co-creating with the universe between the Tower and the Three of Pentacles. And, and I feel like for some of you, this is a situation in which you have subconsciously been doing this. This is not something that you were all that conscious of. But you've been in an energy of self-mastery. You've been in an energy, whether you're aware, consciously aware of it or not, you've been in an energy of bettering yourself. And thus, it seems that you've reached, a st I feel like this is for a lot of you, but you reached a threshold, again, not consciously, but you reached a threshold in which now the universe is like, all right, awesome. Now we can destroy or bring down all of the things that are blocking your manifestations because you're ready for it. You're ready to let go of the old so that the new can come in because you've been doing this work, Pisces. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God, this is amazing. I'm, I, 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 I'm flabbergasted. I don't know what else to say. I really don't know what else to say, so I'm just not gonna say anything more. I don't even, I, like, I'm speechless. Like, I just, I don't even, what? <laughs> Whoa, all right. Anyway, I'm gonna stop being so dramatic. Dramatic now. All right, we're gonna get, <laughs> we're gonna get your uh, guidance, your oracle guidance here. Holy shit, that, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I know, I know we said that, you know, the tower could still come out. I'm just like, I was not expecting it to come out, you guys. I really was not expecting that to, and let alone the very next card. Like, whew, okay. <laughs> All right, let's get your Oracle guidance here, Pisces. Last shuffle. Here we go. Oracle Guidance from a Piscean, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. Closing message here, please, Spirit, for my Pisces, for my Pisceans. Oracle Guidance for my Pisces, my Pisces. There it is. All right, Pisces. You got fart card number, <laughs> you got card number 43, the Golden Unicorn. Protector, guardian, champion. Ooh. All right, let's see, let's see. Card number 43. <laughs> that rhymed. Shut up. <laughs> okay, here we go. The golden unicorn. Everyone deserves to have another person in their life to whom they can turn for protection and care. When this card comes for you, the golden unicorn is showing you the path to a person advisor or mentor who will assist you through the challenges you are now facing. When the golden unicorn appears, it is a beacon of hope for with the right guidance, what seems to be impossible can be achieved and you will no longer feel so raw, vulnerable and unable to go on. The golden unicorn appears to those who are facing unjust circumstances. They will show you step by step how to get through this time when it seems that all friends have fallen away and the world is no longer a safe place. They lead with reason, intelligence, and intuitive brilliance. With their guidance, you will come to a safer place within the world and be wiser in choices regarding friendships, alliances, partnerships. You are wiser now and will never be quite so hurt again. 
There is now protective energy about you, and it is safe for you to leave the current circumstances and create a new path. The judgment you have sensed about you will now dissipate, and true good people enter your life to help heal the pain of friendships that have fallen. Wow. Wow. So there you have it, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of December. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.